Ta-da! Look, I just put this line here uh, out. So I'll, I'll lift the eyebrow. It will be quite fast, so stay with me. This line here goes out. Ah, oh, it's just smooth. Look how they go out. One by one. And wait that I use my eyebrow mop. Put everything off. And you have a nice new line here that I need to work out a bit more. So I take this one out, this one, because I need to make it a straight line from here. When you're doing your eyebrows you need to look at them from the distance. So I'll, I'll cut this video now. Right, I just, I'll powder her nose a bit not to shine but just this part because this is okay if it shines and look up a, a little bit just a little bit powder this um, eye socket because the thing is I, I, otherwise I like radiancy but if I do it matte here because she has quite of a channel that's quite of a, of a hole it bounces light and if I put powder over it but just here it, it eats up light and it doesn't show especially on the camera so now the most funny part just look your nose 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 I'll curl just this part of an eyelashes here oh wait I take uh, this curler I take this curler and I just curl the ends of the eyelashes so just this outer third of the eye work it out it's not such an important step but it still it's quite makes a change I take a mascara I'm using Lancome Hypnos and look down I just brush the outer part hitting with a wand the lower part like the the eyelid actually the water line I just I press it on so I put mascara just on the outer part okay I rub it in and this is what I want to do I work it a bit inwards be careful that you don't apply too much color because it needs to be a gradient look at me yeah and this is it so I use a brown concealer here now I use this one this is MAC I don't know something like dark concealers I put it on my brush and I go from the upper part of the A towards her between the nose and the lips because I don't want to shorten the face I just want to have a nice line here so from here I go in you see how the line now is it's really dark I clean the brush and I just work it in like this is really you, you need to smudge it so much because otherwise you'll do a very bad job this gives color to the face makes it a shade, contours cheeks because she has a bit wider cheeks yeah when she smiles she would actually f be amazing with a nice blush if I put apricot blush on her brown pink I just make a brown pink lips now the thing is that because she has gorgeous lips she can actually just <laughs> make her lips and forget about the eyes yeah we I can show you next time how it draws the attention though it's a uh, peachy pink lipstick I go over the border here I feel the lip just fill it with this I want to make her very natural I'm using peachy tones so her blue eyes will stand out you see especially on a photo this will show because of the white balance of the camera I'll apply a peachy gloss 
So this is a peachy gloss. Ta -da! I apply on just to moisten the lips um, to have this lovely lovely shine because it's winter and we don't want to leave her lips dry. Also I'm not applying too much because I don't want the lips to take all the attention from the eyes. I'm just pulling it, putting it on a little bit and um, when it will go in the lips they just look moist whereas now they shine a bit too much. Mama. No mama? Don't put it together. Yeah. Alright, this is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. We have Sandra again uh, next time. So I'll show you far more tricks about contouring cheeks and things like that. I shot a video in my room actually. Now I show you I show you my room now. So it looks like this. It's really small room, yeah. But this is the window that we have for the light. And this is us. I can't wait guys that I get new lights so I'll be able to make really good quality videos. But till then have fun and we make far more. Bye!